Hello everyone, so I'm just going to make this video to share with you with um, some things I've learned during my time at Saxion for the past two years. Um, I've obviously learned so much more than this, but got to keep it short. Um, so the first thing I have learned is that the relationship between the students and the teachers is very different to what I'm used to in Australia. So here you are not a number, you are a person and your opinion is valued and yeah, it's just so beautiful. So it, this create this environment creates this collaborative thinking and process between the students and the teachers and it's so much better to learn that way and it, it allows you to work collaboratively and it's just so beautiful and at the start of the year you get given a student career counsellor and this person is there for you for the whole four years to help you develop as a professional but also if uh, you have questions regarding the study or regarding something personal they're always there for you they're always they're always welcome you with open arms and it's just so beautiful so um, I had to learn to adapt to that and be like it's okay if I don't know something but I can share my opinion and with that opinion it creates this discussion in the group and that's how you learn so that's what I, ha I have learned and um, I've also learned that practical classes are really good so in Australia I was very theory based I, I think I, I just hit the books I learned anatomy I did a lot of research I wrote a lot of things I studied a lot from the books but here at Saxion they teach you the theory but the theory is directly correlated to what you do in the practical classes and that makes you even understand it better and there's no use of you knowing all the theory but then not be able to put it into practice so that Saxion has really nailed that just the perfect balance between practical and theory and um, another thing I've learned is that uh, I had to be more confident. It's very important to be confident. You guys should be confident because uh, being accepted into this degree is not nothing, which means you can do it. You can do it. You have to send your mind to it. You can you can do it. Um, even in like a practical exam, a teacher may ask you, so why are you doing it? It's not them questioning you that you're doing it wrong. It's some asking you to explain why you're doing it because you know but sometimes I know I was I, I, I wasn't very confident I got very nervous and yeah just see how far I've come since the beginning and now I think I've grown in confidence quite a lot so be confident you guys as well and um, I've learned a lot from my placement experience so in the first year you already get to go on a three-week placement and I was at this child care centre for very disabled children. And these children will be dropped off in the morning by a bus and be picked up in the afternoon to go back home. And they, are, um, they spend a day at this centre in, there are about groups of five children, depending on how high need they are. Um, I was with this placement, I was particularly with the really high medical need children. So there was in that room were four children, five children. And um, there was one nurse in the room and then one kind of person that looks after the group for the whole day with the food and the activities and things like that. But the physio comes in and um, helps stretch out the muscles to avoid contractures and mobilize their joints and get them to walk. I did some hydrotherapy, which was awesome. I went into the pool with the children um, and it was just so beautiful to see what you could do. You had to work collaboratively with an occupational therapist, the nurses. Um, sometimes the rehabilitation doctor would come, um, which was really cool to see. You could see them make new um, wheelchairs for them. So they're adjusted to their posture and it was just so cool to see. And uh, splints, they made splints. So I was able to see that as well. So it was a big learning curve for me. And just to see how much um, a collaborative t team with physios, occupational therapists, uh, speech therapists, doctors and nurses, how much you could achieve for these children. And although they might not get better, you're going to slow down the deterioration process and allow them to live 
the most comfortable life that they can, which is so important. So I'm so grateful for that experience. So thank you for listening and I'll see you in the next video.